Hi, I'm Tom with Yeti Outdoors. Today we're going to talk about how to properly block your Yeti fish house. Now, depending on if you have an eight foot wide house or six and a half foot wide house, your blocking placement is going to be slightly different. Today, we're going to be walking through an eight foot wide blocking on an eight by 21. Note, on this house, we've already disconnected from the truck and have placed our blocks on the back side of the house. Now, let me walk you through how to properly place your blocks. On an eight foot wide house, you're gonna use four blocks per side. One in the front, one on each side of the wheel, and one in the rear. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you go on the actual structural frame rail, not on your outside skirting. The structural frame rail is approximately 12 inches under the fish house. You're gonna to wanna to reach under, position your blocking below it, and now move on to your other three points of blocking on this side. Now that we've put all eight blocks down around the house, it's time to lower the house. In this case, we have a hydraulic unit, so I'll simply just use the lower all button. Now, while you're dropping it, you're gonna wanna double check that your blocks are directly lined up with the main frame rail. In this case, we've pre-aligned everything and are confident we're hitting the blocks. Now that the house is all the way lowered, we are good to go. It's important to note that you don't want the house perfectly level when storing it on blocks. You want water to be able to drain off the house. For more information regarding your Yeti fish house tips and tricks, visit our owner's guide online at yetioutdoors.com.